Okay, so on a problem like this, we gotta read through it, right? And then what we need to be able to do is identify to what equations can we go ahead and create from a word problem like this. So we have the sum, so I know I'm going to be adding. We have consecutive, that means things are gonna be right next to each other. And then also we're dealing with integers and we're going to have five of them. So whenever I'm dealing with a word problem, what I always like to do is try to identify my unknown. Now, I think our most famous unknown that we are most constantly using is going to be X. So we're gonna say, all right, let X be our unknown, right? That's something we're going to solve for. Now you could say, X is going to be the largest integer. So if X is going to be the largest integer, that means the next one or the integer that's right below it would be X minus one. And again, how many of these integers do we have, right? You gotta think about this. We're supposed to have five of them. And then the other thing that's really important is what I didn't do is actually the total. What is the sum? So it's this the sum of five consecutive is, is 585. So what I need to do now is create an equation. So if I'm gonna have X going to be the largest integer, what would be the next smallest integer? Well, that's gonna be X minus one. And then the integer smaller than that would be X minus one minus one again, or be X minus two. And then if I was gonna do that a third time, I could now go ahead and see that would be a X minus three. And then one, two, three, four, I need one more, right? That's gonna be an X minus four. And again, remember, this is all going to be equal to 585, which I ran out of space, so that's great. Let's go ahead and maybe rewrite everything. So now I have this huge equation. So now what we're gonna be dealing with is saying, well, I can add the X's, X plus X plus X plus X plus X, which you should probably already recognize since we have five of them. That's just going to be a five X. And then I'm also gonna combine my, my numbers. So I have one, two, three, and four. They're all negatives because we're subtracting them. So that'd be seven, eight, nine, 10. So minus a 10 equals a 585. Um, now I have, well, basically you can see I have a two-step equation, right? And again, we're trying to solve for X, which represents our largest integer. So if I go and add a 10, to both sides, I have a 5x is equal to a 595. So now, um, so I have a 5x equals a 595. So now just divide by five, divide by five, and x is gonna equal to a 119, which is going to be our answer, which the question is actually answering. So we're good. Now, again, just in case we wanted to know, like what are the other integers, we'd have 119 plus 118 plus 117, plus 116, plus 115. And I could easily just make sure I verify by adding these all up to make sure they get to 585, but I'm a math teacher, so I never make mistakes. So I know I'm good. But in all seriousness, if this video was helpful for you and you gained some value, then you're gonna love the next video I have for you here.